This is my dry point plate of a hedgehog. Dry points are great because they're like etchings but without using the chemicals. So this one is scratched into perspex and I'm inking it up with um, intaglio ink, oil-based intaglio ink, which I've wrapped in with a toothbrush, which is kind of useful. So I then need to wipe the excess off and grubby scrim is good for that because you don't want to over wipe right from the start. You can be quite brusque about this, that's fine. Okay. And you'll begin to see the difference between the lines as they are there, the beginning to show, but you need to get a lot more ink off. So, and then move over to cleaner scrim, and it's more of a buffing kind of gesture. It's lots of energy going across the surface to wipe the ink off the surface while still leaving it in the lines. And as you get less and less ink on there, you get a lighter and lighter touch in your buffing. And you will see in just a moment that the lines are showing quite clearly now, but there's still a little bit of plate tone on the plate. So to get that a little bit cleaner around the edges, I shall use some tissue. But first I'll take my grubby gloves off because I like to see how much ink is coming off the plate onto the tissue rather than how much ink is coming off my gloves. You get a better idea on how clean your plate is then. So I'm concentrating just on the smooth, shiny areas and a little bit of highlight on his nose. So I'm just getting the ink off from around the edges. And a clean rag, you can give those edges a really good clean. I like to get it to sit nicely in the paper without any grubby marks around the edges. And there's nothing like using your hands for that finishing touch if you do need to get the plate super clean. I've actually painted the back of the plate with um, white paint so that I can see how much ink is on the back and what might be fingerprints on the front. I used the etching press at Double Elephant Print Workshop and this is nice soft Somerset cotton paper printed and in sepia. After I've printed the whole edition I like to then hand tint my dry points with watercolour. One of the fun challenges is then to get all of your edition looking more or less the same, but with just a little bit of um, hand tinted difference. And this is the hedgehog being printed with other dry point plates and monoprint plants to make a much more complicated print.